Good morning, Calvary. Uh, Pastor Chad here with your word of the day. And uh, I'm excited that we're in this new series looking at the book of Proverbs. And as uh, Pastor Joe mentioned yesterday, we want you to read a chapter a day with us uh, for this next month. Uh, and, and I love the book of Proverbs because to me, Proverbs is an instruction manual on, on, on how not to be an idiot. So uh, I hope you're excited as we are and, and you'll follow along with us and learn from this book of wisdom. Uh, it was written from a father to his sons uh, about how to navigate life and how to be blessed. So uh, basically I'm in chapter two and we're going to look at and talk about how to live a blessed life. How to live a blessed life, a life that is full of wisdom. In other words, how not to be an idiot. And, uh, and Solomon, in, in writing this, is really pretty straightforward because he says if you want to live a blessed life, a wise life, then you have to seek wisdom. Listen to what he says in verses 1 through 4. He says, My son, if you receive my words and treasure up my commandments with you, making your ear attentive to wisdom and inclining your heart to understanding, Yes, if you call out for insight and raise your voice for understanding, if you seek it like silver and search for it as for hidden treasures, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. He, he says we got to seek wisdom. If you want to live a wise life, then you have to seek it. When we talk about seeking wisdom, uh, we're talking about a whole lot more effort than a husband looking for something in the refrigerator or the pantry. And guys, sorry to throw you under the bus, but I'm guilty myself. Uh, Meralda will tell me where something is, and I'll go look in the fridge, and I don't see it, and I go, it's not here, or I, now I just admit I can't find it. And, and then she walks over with that kind of expression of disgust and, and, you know, looking at me like I'm pathetic, and she opens the door and reaches in and grabs it and shows it to me and says, all you had to do was look for it. Okay, look. Guilty, And a lot of us are guilty about that as well. You know, this is, this is an active pursuit of wisdom. That's what Solomon is, is counseling us to do. Actively pursue wisdom. Uh, it, it's sort of, in, in my mind, what popped into my head was uh, my dog in our house when the grandkids are there and they're eating because they're going to spill something. And our dog just scours the floor, sniffing everywhere, looking for some scrap that has fallen on the floor so that, you know, she can indulge in the, the nuggets that she finds of forbidden food. Uh, that's what we need to do. If we want to have a wise life, then we really need to seek wisdom. And, and our problem is this. We passively want God to just open up our heads and pour wisdom in. We just want to receive wisdom, like, okay, pour it on me, and I've got it, now I understand. And uh, that's never going to happen. We need to seek it. Which, by the way, seeking wisdom means that you're going to read the Bible. I mean, it, it is the inspired, inerrant Word of God that tells us what to believe and how to live. It, it's the book of wisdom for us. So you've got to read the Bible. You've got to study the Bible. You know, get with other people and learn what it says. Learn for yourself. Uh, I'd encourage you to memorize Scripture because it's wisdom in your life. Um, you know, attend worship. Listen to the sermons. Take notes. Listen to the sermons afterwards. They're on their website. It doesn't matter whether you're attending in person or online either. It, what matters is that you're paying attention and applying it to your lives. We have to seek wisdom if we want to live a wise life. And then Solomon tells us the results. He says, if you seek wisdom, you will receive it and so much more. Listen to this. But picking up back up at verse 5. Then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He stores up sound wisdom for the upright. He is a shield to those who walk in integrity, guarding the paths of, of justice and watching over the way of his saints. Then you will understand righteousness and justice and equity in every good path. For wisdom will come into your heart and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. Did you catch that? If you seek wisdom, here's what Solomon says you're going to get. You're going to know the right path to take. You're going to know it. I, people ask me all the time, what should I do? Which direction should I go? What does God want me to do? If you seek wisdom, you're going to know the right path to take. You're going to make correct decisions because God's wisdom is going to flood your life. I love this. Your character is going to guard your life. 
because you're going to be seeking God, you're going to be following God, you're going to be living for God, and your character, the, the way that you live, your integrity is going to be a shield for your life and for your reputation. And then he, he says, you're going to understand justice. Not hashtag type justice that people scream about, rant about, don't think about, but really see the world from God's perspective. But it boils down to this. Your effort is required, but if you put the effort into it, then God's going to give you wisdom. And you're going to live a life filled with wisdom and knowledge. So today I'm going to ask you, how much effort are you putting into your life to acquire the wisdom of God? And uh, are you willing to do more? Simple challenges, read a chapter a day with us. Monday through Friday, we're walking through Proverbs, each chapter, one after the other. Um, make it a habit, in fact, to start reading a chapter of Proverbs every single day and let God's wisdom fill your soul. God bless and have a beautiful day.